say, hey, this is Daniel Rucker with True Table. Welcome to the table. I am going to just, I'm going to be going in as I do on a regular. Those who are listening to me, I appreciate it. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that like button because I am doing it for y'all. That's why I'm here, right? So what we going to do, we're going to go ahead and step into the kitchen and we're going to get cooking. Today's topic is about how I don't believe women truly ever grow up. Now, I can I can talk on this. I can touch on this. I'm going to do my best to articulate my thoughts, right? Why can't I come and say something so bold? Daniel, how can you sit here and make a statement so bold and make a comment so strong and maybe some would even say controversial, right? Well, observation, experience, just collective amounts of data and things that I have gathered amongst the years that I've had on this earth through my own immediate experiences, lived, some unlived observations, so on and so forth. There is, it's, it's incredible what I've observed. And one thing that I've found to be conclusive, right, is that if you look at the reaction, if you look at how children respond if you look at how children act and conduct themselves it's not too far off on how women conduct themselves modern day now <laughs> ah whose fault is it right and are we here to place blame some i believe accountability is necessary and i hold accountability for myself I hold accountability for you who's listening. I hold accountability for the women. I hold accountability for the men. This is going to be somewhat of a blended topic because it is definitely women's fault that their growth and their development is limited to a degree. And what do I mean by that? I mean that at a certain place in your life, a certain level in your life, what you lacked, what you weren't shown, what you weren't taught becomes your responsibility becomes your sole responsibility on how you're going to end up in the world and show up in the world at a certain point, at a certain age. Some can say 18. Some can say 21. I feel like once your mindset has arrived of a place of a full awareness, and that's different for every person, but once your mind gets to a place of full awareness where you know right from wrong, where you know the what is necessary to create worth ethic, so on and so forth, treating people with respect, having manners, having goals, having um, moral a moral compass, and all of these things encompass, then I believe at that point, you have to start holding yourself accountable for your actions, for your lack of actions, for your evidence of your life, so on and so forth. The crappy relationships you've had, um, the friends you've had, the experiences you've had. Because we're not gonna, what we're not gonna do on this channel is we're not gonna alleviate people from their contribution sometimes to the experiences that they've had. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with females over the years on these relationships and these guys that they end up with that are just so much trash, as they say, toxic, as they say, bad, as they say. Yet, it always goes back to the original question. Well, why'd you pick him? Well, why was he good enough at that point for you to hook up with, attach to, jump in a relationship with? And you hear so many nonsense responses like, oh, well, you know, you know, or I don't know. <laughs> I love that. I don't know is like a universal woman response. I don't know is almost like their universal natural language. They use it to project and dismiss and not, again, hold accountability. I don't know. It's not an acceptable answer. It's not an answer, actually, at all. And that's what's, again, missing. Now, like I stated earlier in the broadcast, it's not all women's fault. Men, you have to. It is your duty. It is your job. To hold these women accountable. What I find that is different 
between myself and a lot of fellas that I'm interacting with on a daily basis, and a, a, you know, a regular basis. You know, I've told you guys before on this channel, I'm very social. I'm out. I don't just live behind this screen, behind this camera. I actually go out in the real world and I live. And I'm interacting with people all the time. Restaurants, movie theaters, clubs, venues, you name it, right? And what I'm observing is a lot of men, males, guys, people from the male <laughs> the male side the, the male the, the the male of the species are walking around with the level of delusion I'll call it and not being aware of who the heck they are and not being aware of their responsibility they are allowing the mistreatment of people other males other females people and fellas it is your responsibility, your responsibility to show these women in their childlike behavior, in their childlike mindset, how to do this thing called life, how to do this thing called being an adult. What I find so interesting is how the feminist movement in all of its vastness and its marketing power and how they are always championing for women and saying, yeah, you can do what the men do and so on and so forth and all this. That's great. That's good. I'm never going to combat positive reinforcement, positive propaganda that is going to hopefully promote growth and pro progress because that's what this channel is about. Growth and progress, perspective and progress, forward momentum. That's what I stand for, right? But what's interesting is it's always microwaved or condensed or watered down. What do you mean by that, Daniel? I mean that they're not giving you the full range of responsibility. See, they're telling you ladies to go get educated. They're telling you ladies to go out there and, you know, strive to be your best. Start your own companies. Build your own life. You don't need no man. Great. I'm here to tell you. That's not right. That's not even correct. You always need us. And you need us for the intricate things. You need us for your soul development. You need us for you to be able to show up and arrive in the world the correct way. Because you guys do not know how to do it properly. Why can I make such a bold statement? Because of the experiences and the observed amount of interactions that I see again on a daily basis. So many females are out of line and out of character and how they even interact. You know, I remember a time, because I am 35 years old, I remember a time where the word bitch was offensive if it was said to a female. And if a man said it to a woman, it was demeaning, it was cruel, it was toxic, as one of the trend words now is, and it wasn't tolerated, right? But now, in the millennium years, 2021 and so on, bitches thrown around so much, girls have coined it, owned it. It now stands for something that is cool, that's hip, that's, that's, that's of standard. A, a, a word of respect quote unquote right that's how crazy the intellect of these females are because you're taking something that is meant to demean you to compare you at its base dis dictionary definition the word bitch means female dog so you're totally okay with walking around calling each other female dogs Yet when a man like myself tells you, okay, you know what, lady, I'm sorry. You need to be trained. You know, you don't know how to act. You, you're being rude. You're being disrespectful. You haven't been trained right. That's right. You haven't been trained right. Either you didn't have a father or you didn't have brothers or you have not interacted with a man enough to be able to know that what you're doing right now, the behavior you're exemplifying right now is out of order, out of line, disrespectful. Sorry, shut it down. You haven't been trained. And most of the time when I say that word, they'll be like, oh, train, ah, oh, what is she, a, I'm not an animal. Interesting. But then why do you guys go around calling each other bitches? But moving on, fellas, the behavior of the woman is your responsibility. Not the way she feels. See, that's the disconnect. See, Females think it's about how they feel. It ain't got nothing to do with how you feel. Ladies, I'm here to tell you. Daniel Rucker, 
on True Table, in the kitchen, cooking, your feelings do not matter to nobody but yourself. Men, it is your job to correct, instruct, teach. That's your job. And that starts from the moment you come into the fullness of self and awareness and what you're capable of. And when you know in whole mind, body, and spirit, in whole being and self, that you're a man and you are valuable and you have something to contribute and you have something to offer. Stop getting caught up on this nonsense that women in society is trying to tell you that your value solely comes from your checkbook. That your value is centered around your title or your position. Or and when you hit the Forbes list, now you have a voice. When you drive around in the Lamborghini or Ferrari or some foreign expensive car, you now have something of value. No, F that. Your value starts with you. Starts here, starts here, and it's showcased every day that you're living on this freaking earth. It is your job to hold the standard, show the standard, and then enforce the standard. You know, one of my friends had witnessed just last night me address disrespect from four females, two different sets of females. And what he was, you know, commenting on was the fact that one, he was worried for her because he knows me. (laughs) He was worried for them because he knows me. And two, how I was fearless in it, right? And yeah, what is there to fear? What am I losing one for holding a standard? I'm not gonna go into the details for the sake of you guys' time on exactly all that happened. But in both cases, the young ladies were blatantly disrespectful. And as myself, I was not a disrespectful person in the transaction that was our interaction. But because there's such a dismissive attitude, there's such a dismissive outlook on men our image as a collective women are allowed to walk around in the very world we built in the very society that we created and dismiss you and disrespect you if for some odd reason they don't find you relatively attractive or cool enough or smooth enough or wearing the right clothes or designer you know labels that they feel is gonna now buy you into their little world of acceptance i'm here to tell you fellas yo you guys have to first self-love and build you have to wake up every freaking day look yourself in the mirror i don't care if you're working at dunkin donuts valvoline walmart the google i don't care because wherever you're at you can progress you can grow you can change your life and your job is to do just that and whatever knowledge you acquired along the way whatever wisdom you acquired along the way the manners the the culture the the experiences these things are supposed to echo one through you and then they're supposed to be shown taught instructed it is your job when you see a female that is exemplifying asset nine behavior contrary behavior to her natural nature fellas it is your job to vocalize it to address it to handle it accordingly this needs to occur why does it need to occur daniel why are you saying to the masses that is youtube the manosphere the world per se that this needs to occur because the very behavior that you're seeing fellas the twerking the attitude, the savagery as they're calling it, and all of this erroneous behavior is because men have stopped holding the standard. Now, for any of my military brothers and people that have served in the armed forces, thank you for your services. Any of my men that are currently holding that position or um, the auxiliary of protective services or cops or whatever it may be, they understand this principle. See, when you stop securing your crap, your household, your life, your field, your area, you leave room for the enemy to sneak in and wreak havoc on your crap and do what they feel is necessary. Like talk to you any kind of way or slap you across your face or let's even run it back a little bit. Even not allow you to finish your thought 
before she speaks. Because when you're talking, what you have to say is just as important as what she may have to say. And she needs to give you the room to express yourself fully without cutting you off. Or feeling like her words are more important than the very words coming out of your mouth. Maybe her being quiet for just a second or two longer may just help expand upon her outlook, wisdom, and perspective. But see, they're not even going to give you an opportunity to do that. And you're not gonna, you don't got to ask for this, fellas. You have to demand it. You have to be able to stand firm on your convictions. Not back down. Not put your head down. Not be all subservient and all that. That is not how men are designed. That is not how we move. And if you're going to represent what I would consider a whole man. Some would even say a high value man. That's the term that's being thrown around. Then it comes with some stuff. It comes with accountability. It comes with responsibility. So I'm holding you to the same standard that I hold myself to and all the fellas that are existing. Yo, you guys got to kick in the gear because it's not going to slow down and it's not going to go back to the days to where things were ran with structure, to the time where things were flowing and clicking and moving in a, in a manner that was you more euphoric and peaceful. It's not going to go back to that. You are responsible for your outcome, your lifestyle, your lived experiences. And you need as a man to understand, yo, I it's my responsibility. I'm going to leave you guys with this one I'm going to leave you with two things before I go. One, as a man, ask yourself, and this is to me is a very important question. Ask yourself, have I ever received a gift from a woman? What is it? Well, I'm sorry. What is the best gift I've ever received from a woman that I actually liked, enjoyed, value, and made me feel as a man appreciated? Ask yourself that. And at the same, and, and the second thing, what I do this for, and what I do it for, even in real life, is not so much to be mean and ass, you know, just because I like the sound of my own voice. No, it's because when I see something that's incorrect and wrong, it's my job to correct it. And one of the driving forces behind it, because I got so much love for people, my my brothers, you know. My men, my women, children, all, mankind collectively. I am not going to allow disruptive behavior, erroneous behavior to exist, especially in a woman. And she can go out into the world and continue to conduct herself in the same manner that is disrupting and bringing malice and a cancerous like behavior in an in an attitude to other men that I know are worthy of respect and appreciation. That's why I do it. So I encourage you men, answer the call, bro. Answer it. You're not alone. I got you. Others got you. It's time for you guys to step up and create and change it. We got to change it. And so I'm not going to back up off of this. Ladies, adhere, fall in line. It'll be easier for you. It'll create for a better life, I promise you that. So that's what I want to touch on today. Thank you guys for coming to the table. I appreciate it. We'll go ahead and step out my kitchen. <laughs> go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and just, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate it, I really do. I hope you guys have a good and blessed weekend. Be safe. Make good choices. And I'm going to come back to you guys on Monday with some fresh new content. Yes, I am. Uh, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me for these last 19 minutes and 25 seconds. And uh, yeah, I'm out.